Well, welcome to this episode of Dreammakers, everybody. Now, for those of you that don't know, Dreammakers is a show that is based entirely on making big outdoor dreams come true. And it's brought to you by the Outdoor Adventure Foundation. And the Outdoor Adventure Foundation, their sole mission is providing outdoor adventures to use under the age of 25 with life-threatening illnesses and to disabled veterans. And they are quite simply the king of outdoor dreams. Everything from hunts to fishing trips to even taking kids to Disney. If it's a recipient's dream, they're gonna do everything in their power to make it happen. Well, it's September 22nd, the Outdoor Adventure Foundation. We're out here with uh, 18 recipients. A number of them are mobility challenge, and what a great place this is to come and hunt. Some of them, they have permits to shoot from a vehicle, and we're able to drive them around and uh, get them up close on pheasants and, and have a great time and the rest. It's just such a great place here. We're near Binford, North Dakota with our friend George Berger. What a great, what we think is our first annual pheasant hunt here um, with George. Now, pheasant hunts are a lot of fun. It's a great opportunity to get out there with a large group of people and have a good time. There's not a lot of pressure because it's not like you're chasing one specific whitetail or you're trying to call on a turkey. The only thing you gotta worry about is if you can shoot halfway decent or at least better than your buddies. Now, something to consider about a hunt like this is that there's gonna be a lot of people around and a lot of guns. So we've gotta make sure to be very careful and make sure everybody knows the safety rules so that nobody's put in danger. So before they go out and they shoot any birds, the first thing they're gonna have to do is have a little safety meeting. Good guys. Always, there's no shooting at anything on the ground unless you're with us or something. We're away from the dogs on the ground. And when we do do a walk, everybody stay in a straight line. We don't walk fast. Don't shoot over anybody's head. Wait till birds get up. If there's Guys block and always know the directions that you're shooting. Don't shoot yourselves in the foot. Make sure you're safe. So when we do get done and back to vehicles or rangers, unload your guns. Point it away from people when you unload your guns. Always just make sure the birds are clear. Don't shoot at a bird over somebody else's head. So now that everybody's clear on the rules and the guides are feeling confident that it's going to be a safe hunt, they pack up their guns, head to the field, and they're all going to hopefully find some pheasants. Need a sniper over here? Rooster! Hi! I wasn't going to shoot at that one. <laughs> oh, nice. Crap. Nice. <laughs> hold up, hold up. I got it. Wow. You did a good job. Hey. These dreams were made possible by Cullen Children's Foundation, Sanford Health, the Ingolstadt Foundation, and Shields. So our recipients have been having a lot of fun. You can see the smiles on their faces. They've shot some birds, got to hang out with friends and family, but unfortunately nature gives it to them and it starts to rain a little bit but that's all right because they're a little hungry and Bank Ford is providing the food for this event. And they're not just bringing a little food, they're bringing a smorgasbord. And for those of you that don't know, a smorgasbord is a whole lot of food. What do you think of those pheasants out there? You gonna get one of those? I'll try. There's no try, there's only you. Well, uh, I don't know about that. Are they talking to you? Little bit. Now, while you're watching this hunt, you might be seeing some familiar faces that you've seen in other episodes of Dream Makers, just like Gabe. And Gabe is one of the stars of Dream Makers, and he's actually been on a lot of hunts in the past. He's a really good hunter, and him and his dad are going to be mixing it up with the rest of the recipients doing some pheasant hunting. So we're just kind of cruising along here on the trail, huh, Gabe? Yeah. Now, one of the great things I love about the Outdoor Adventure Foundation is the lengths that they go to accommodate their recipients. 
especially those that are mobility challenged. Now, Polaris is actually sponsoring this event and they've provided a whole bunch of UTVs in order to get our recipients around and get them on some birds. Go ahead, Gabriel. Got him, shoot again. He hit him. Hey, we're doing pretty good. We got eight already, huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Now another recipient on this hunt, his name is Owen, and he's got a gun that's about as big as he is. But nonetheless, he's still a real good shot. Hey, he's gonna fly right in front of you. Yes! Oh, hey! Yes! <laughs> hey! Yes! Here we go! Oh, good good job. Job. I didn't have time. All right! <laughs> yes! I didn't have time to get ready. <laughs> What? He's smoked him. Hey, my love, you got him. All right. Good job. Good job, buddy. You nailed him. So once again, uh, Outdoor Adventure hooked Gabriel up with this amazing trip. Just two weeks ago, they took him antelope hunting. But now, today, he gets to do all this pheasant hunting. And it's uh, it's so great for him to have these things to look forward to. You know, he, it, it makes him work harder in all of his therapies and recoveries to, to know that he can come out here and do these, these events. and. And then just to be with people that have issues that aren't uh, all the same. And it's, it's a good thing for him to have that and know that he's not alone. It makes me, uh, it makes me happy to know that it, it makes him happy. And we can't, uh, we can't thank Outdoor Adventure Foundation enough for all these adventures he gets to go on. We went out pheasant hunting today and there was 18 of us, I believe. And we got 91 birds, I believe. So, very good day of hunting, it was very fun. When I was in the hospital, all I would tell them is, or ask them is if I can go hunting in the weekend, they'd always tell me no. So now that I'm out, I gotta try to make up for all the lost time. <laughs> One of the things that Outdoor Adventures has done is allowed uh, kids and their parents or their grandparents to come together and, and do it in a group that, uh, that uh, you know, there's not a lot of stress with it. Kids get to hunt to their capabilities and uh, it's a proud moment for a dad to watch, you know, watch his son who's kind of gone through a lot and, and overcome that to be able to do something like that. Well, we, uh, we get to go out and do some nature hikes and carry a gun while we're doing it and then get a couple shots off at birds and if you hit them, awesome. If not, you're still, you're still up and winning. Now, if you're watching this episode and you're interested in becoming a volunteer, or if you think that you or a loved one may qualify as a recipient, all you've got to do is head over to our website. We would love to have you either way. Now, you're going to want to stick around because when we get back, we're heading all the way up to Canada and we're going to be doing a little bit of black bear hunting. Stick with us. Dream Makers will be right back. These dreams were made possible by Cullen Children's Foundation, Sanford Health, the Ingolstadt Foundation, and Shields. If you've got a question, we've got an answer. This is Dream Makers Q&A. All right, this one comes to us from Bob from Michigan. Bob says, I want to go on a hunt, exclamation point, exclamation point, and then a bunch of deers behind it. Bob, that's a good one, all right? And I'm sure there's plenty of people that want to go on a hunt like this because our recipients get to go on some great hunts. But the fact of the matter is, Bob, it all depends on whether you qualify or not. And if you're out there and you want to find out if you or a loved one qualifies, all you've got to do is go over to our website, OutdoorAdventureFoundation.org, and you'll find all the details you need there. That's a good question, Bob. Funny, but still good. And if you're out there and you've got a question for us, all you've got to do is head over to our Facebook page and ask away. We'll see you next time on Q&A. Would you be quiet? I'm trying to do a Q&A. God dang. Well, howdy everybody and welcome back to Dream Makers. Now on this hunt, it is springtime. The colors are green, everything's coming back to life. And if you're an outdoorsman, you are most likely thinking about turkey hunting. But if you're a hunter, there may be another animal that is also on your mind and that's the black bear. Springtime is the perfect time to be hunting black bear because they're coming out of hibernation and they're starving. So if you're putting out baits, there's a good chance you're gonna have some success. 
So this hunt is taking place in Manitoba, Canada, and we're gonna be meeting up with the guys from DOA Outfitters. And the Outdoor Adventure Foundation, they have experience with DOA Outfitters because they've actually done a hunt there in the past with a recipient named Alan. He's a veteran and he was fortunate enough to have an awesome black bear hunt and he took a really nice bear. But on this hunt, we're gonna be meeting up with a young lady named Christy. Now Christy has been battling cancer and her one dream was to come out here and hunt for a Manitoba black bear. In 2013, I was diagnosed with familial adenopolyposis, um, polyps in your colon that would turn to cancer. So I had to have my colon removed, um, else I would have passed away by 25, the doctors told me. Two years later, I woke up one day and I felt a lump. And I went down to the Mayo and found out I had desmoid tumors and Gardner syndrome. And desmoid tumors um, is rare, there's no cure. Um, I've tried treatment for the last three years and nothing's helped. Uh, my last treatment was IV chemo. And last October, right before I did that chemo, they gave me a year to live. And we don't know if the chemo works or not yet, not till June, but so far I'm stable. Now DOA Outfitters, they are known for having a ton of bears. And when I say a ton, I mean a whole mess of bears. They're everywhere. So hopefully that means that Christy won't have any problem finding a bear that she wants to take home. Now the guides for DOA are Daryl and Dylan, and they're awesome guides, and they're really great with our recipients, making them feel comfortable and making sure that their hunt is awesome. And where that starts is the setup. Now they're gonna be using a combination of tree stands and ground blinds, and this is gonna be overlooking a bait. This is gonna help our recipient to be comfortable and hopefully lay eyes on a lot of bears. Now there's a lot of different ways to hunt black bear, but one of the most effective is over bait. Black bear are suckers when it comes to bait. They love sweets and marshmallows and oats and all that good stuff, and it really brings them in. But one of their favorite foods and their favorite attractants, I know it sounds weird, but it's beaver. So for Christie's first sit, they're gonna be sitting on the ground, which in any other hunt would not be a big deal. But the fact of the matter is, is that they're hunting for bear. And having bear no more than 10 or 15 yards away while you're sitting on the ground, it could be kind of nerve wracking, but it is also a heck of an experience. All of a sudden, a little cub works his way in. And you can tell that this is a cub, first of all, because he's smaller, and second of all, because he's so curious. You know, he's checking out the bait, he's checking out the area. But then out of nowhere, he gets a little nervous, and you can tell just by the look on his face that something bigger's coming. This bait, it's someone else's bait now. So a boar makes his way in, and you know, this is kind of a smaller bear not one that you'd really want to take on the first day, especially when you're seeing so many bear and especially when it's so pretty outside. But this guy puts on a show and entertains the hunters nonetheless. Now Christy's had a good sit. She's seen a lot of bears, but it's getting dark. And before that sun goes away, old mama bear shows up with her and her two cubs. These dreams were made possible by Cullen Children's Foundation, Sanford Health, the Ingolstadt Foundation, and Shields. 
So we are in the middle of a pretty successful black bear hunt with our recipient, Christy. She saw a bunch of bears her first sit, and she actually goes on to have a whole bunch of successful sits, just hanging out on the ground, watching a whole bunch of black bear. and it was really cool to see um, them fighting. It was just very different from anything I've ever experienced. Now, Christy's been having a lot of success. She's been seeing a lot of bears down in her ground blind, but it's her last day. So they're gonna switch it up and they're gonna get up in the tree stand. You know, one of my favorite things about tree stand hunting is getting to watch the woods come alive around you. You know, you get out there when it's dark and the sun slowly starts to rise. And especially when it's springtime, the woods really comes to life. So Christy's got two bears in front of her and they are munching on that bait without a care in the world. They have no idea she's there. So she's gonna have plenty of time to figure out if she wants to pull the trigger. You know, it's funny, it's, it's almost like an animal knows when you're ready to take a shot. They can be perfectly broadside the whole time, but as soon as you get ready to pull the trigger, it's like they start hiding from you and making it difficult on you. It's a nice bear. He's got a nice coat too. Yeah, oh, he's gonna be my rug. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, you're so heavy. Oh. <laughs> There's a real sense of accomplishment that comes with a hunt. And that doesn't even necessarily mean that you've got an animal on the ground. You know, when you're out there and you're putting in your time, you know, you're sitting in the tree stand and you might even be 
20 feet away from a bear. The success of a hunt is not measured on whether you got a dead animal down or not. That's not it. It is measured by the smile and the joy of the hunter. And you can look at our recipients and you can tell each one of these hunts is a huge success. It doesn't matter whether it's a big black bear or a little pheasant. They are having the time of their lives and making their big outdoor dreams come true. Now, if you're out there and you've watched this episode and you want to get involved in something like this, all you've got to do is head over to our website or our Facebook page. We'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. My name is Johnny Piazza, and I want to thank you for watching this episode of Dream Makers.